What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off, I was umming and eyeing about whether or not I was going to attack the Italians here at Milan and I decided I shall. So without further ado, let's attack Milan and take this city back. That'll be the last Italian territory secured for us. And then we have to get onto the awkward business of attacking a major European power, which isn't very fun. But it also, so that's not fun. Oh man, this is really dodgy territory. Okay. I'm going to want to run my infantry up around the flank. And that's not great, because they've got mortars shooting at us. So their houses are the mortars are where are they? There they are. Run them all into square formation. That's going to kill that cavalry unit. My cavalry is going to do a bit of a suicidal dash in. Because we've got an opportunity to quickly kill their... Quickly kill their mortars. Go. They're dead. Conscripts are getting in the way. So we might lose this cavalry unit, but it'll be worth it. Shaken. Broken, shattered, routing. Run away! There we go. Now we engage their dastardly troops, however we may. bayonets though at least and wherever they attack they'll probably be shot at from behind shots in the back. Even more so when my troops get into position. There goes there. First unit. You guys form positions once more. And these guys, when they've reloaded, they'll fire into the back of
first it's just something like this. Big ugly right angle, something to fire into the back of these Swiss blocks. Just hold, third, third, just hold. They're winning slightly, and they're about to get really upset. And the 17th oh. opens fire. Ah, classic. As soon as I send someone to actually attack, they recover. But they are now shattered. Set up a new line. You guys, you've done enough. You guys fall back into the rear areas. Even if pikemen's come back, <coughs> so you can't take it for granted that the pikemen have gone. They should be easier to round. We've only lost. Well, the Swiss pikes have routed, which is good because they've got their little lots of, lots of armor. And they are routed. Let's push the line up into a better position. Let's run to get them in position. Let's go general on the flank. Let me speed up time a little bit. Ah, the pikes have come back. There's many to get into position rapidly. Fire in a volley at point blank range. So the big boys are back here. First Grenadier Regiment Swiss Grenadiers. It's unlimber. Ah, one of my guys robbed to the group. I think they probably got hit by cannonball. No, no, they got they got getting sniped by the. Uh, Conscript on the flank. Two units should be enough for that. Everyone else, march up to your next position. Our guns, walk up on top of this position. Let's run a regiment of horse around to intercept the conscripts. Bunch of constant dead. Five more. If I can get my conscripts around, my cavalry up around here, then we can smash them in the flank and kill them. Or do I go for the general's bodyguard? Nope, they're not letting me get away with that. Let's run in. Okay, let's smash him and then just abandon the position. My cavalry needs to make them. Needs to make them shattered. Because shattered means they. Broken means they can come back. Shattered means that they will not come back. 
So when these go say routing shattered, their morale is completely destroyed, they will not come back onto the field. I don't know why these my cavalry are running around here. I'll just leave them to it. Speed up time, let's focus on the next task. Send them after the general's bodyguard. These guys form up to shoot the Swiss bodyguard. Well, they are fleeing. So these Swiss Grenadiers aren't going to get the benefit of their cover because they have been outflanked and they don't seem to really care about that. I mean, hit the Western, Eastern European mercenaries in the rear, I suppose. They do not have bayonets. Mercenaries are holding on better than I thought they would. Let's advance these troops up onto the, the little bluff on the ground up here. The general's busy wandering around in front of a troop of guys with guns. Probably not a good thing to do. Let's form square. Just finish killing that unit. The 18th is going to do a lot of damage to these Swiss Grenadiers. Firing down the flank. Oh yes. This Grenadier General charging in. Is he able to die in glorious combat? Shaking. Getting shot at in too many directions. A morale effect more so than loss of casualties. Yep. Delicious. And that is how you take back Milan to reinforce the army, but soon. Alarme! Venice is ours. We've already done a bit of work. We can keep start taxing you already. Region captured Lombardy. And you earned nothing for that. Sono Whereas you're my pretty decent general, although you're 51, so you could die at any moment. You see all these ports blockaded. Trade Argo. Oh, Our income's now positive because we captured Milan. Go on, Britain. Yes. Britain's my enemy, but... G good Britain. <gasps> That's perfect. Yes, please. 
They want a trade agreement and they're going to pay me for the privilege. That is ideal. Absolutely top quality stuff. So Harrison, we can send them by sea over to attack Genoa. And I suspect the Venice garrison is going to attack me once more. And I am more than happy to let them come at me. So let's see what happens. I mean, obviously, whenever India finishes whatever it's doing. Yep, here they come. This is the last battle, I think. When they die from this... I mean, we're, we are fully replenished now. But when, when they fail this attack, I think they're gone. I'm feeling so much better now than I was earlier. Whew, let me tell you, I was mightily concerned. You know, it's not often that you say, yeah, fighting Britain and Spain and France all together. Yeah, it's big ones, isolated ones. Oh, no. They're in the middle of Europe and everyone knows how to get at them. As before, I am not going to let their mortars have any opportunity to shoot me. I don't mind getting risky. I don't mind playing it, playing it being a bit more adventurous towards the back end of the campaign. Well, not the back end, but, you know, when I'm established. I don't want to take too many risks now. That's the problem. Oh, no. Well, I say, oh, no, I've got, I've got buckets of troops. General's already dead. So they deployed up in your face. Which, to be honest, means general advance. Isolated away from my general. Such a such a rapid and deadly bombardment. position Folks are charging in but they're gonna get battle lines have been you can hit my paper guard if you like. It's a devastating set of, set of volleys at point blank range. Yeah, that's a pretty. Devastating assault attacks. Force of fire in the back of the Swiss pipes, and that's them shattered. Oh, damn, I lost a bunch of members of my general's bodyguard. Let's get my dragoons to do some. Sneak sneaks. A 
except for my general obvs. Oh, just one sec, guys. Got a delivery. Uno minuto. And I'm back. Apologies for the delivery delay. Um, you guys should be happy with it because it's a so it's a motherboard. Whew. I ran back up the stairs. Um, so I was going to wait till the RTX 3080 came out before I got a new PC, but I'm too excited. So I bought the bits. And then what I'm going to do is just drop the 3080 in when it gets announced. So let's crack on. Conscript's trying to charge me. It's too late. Because they know what I'm after. <laughs> they know what I'm after and it's too late. Kill those damned mortarmen. Destroyed. It's very nice of these pikemen to run around allowing themselves to get shot. So you can see they're desperately trying to redeploy to do something about my cavalry. But it's not gonna work, see? Um, but yes, I was gonna wait for the graphics card to come out before buying all my bits, but I decided I'm gonna buy all my bits now. Because, so I want to play Microsoft Flight Sim, but because I don't have my Windows, I bought a duff copy. Um, the launch won't open for whatever reason, because apparently it uses like the Windows data. And my Windows update doesn't work, or is not activated, and lots of other things like that. So I can't actually play it, but I would like to. At least have a mess around with. Um, but this is going to be quite a... From my gaming experience, it's going to be the biggest upgrade I've done in a long time. So i got a Ryzen 7 3700. I was looking at the Ryzen 9 3900, but I don't think I do enough to benefit from the extra cores. Um, like the Ryzen 7 is eight, it's eight cores and it's about, about four gig each, maybe three point something, three point eight. So I don't, I don't really need it. Uh, I've got a Asus X570 Plus motherboard. I never knew this was a thing. Uh, you can get these M.2 drives for your motherboard, which are apparently, according to my friends, are like SSDs but faster. And I've got slots for two of them on this motherboard, and that's pretty goddamn awesome. So I'm really excited. But while these videos are going up, actually, this is this is Italy Part Five. So actually, for you guys, um, I've got back home from my trip, and I've probably been building my PC. Actually, no, that's a lie. <laughs> Um, because I still need to use bits from this PC, so I'm probably going to record about a week's worth of videos in advance prior to building my PC, so I can build it and things go okay without there being a big gap in coverage of content. At least, that's the plan. I will put out a proper video explaining all this, these are just me thinking on the fly. I don't think, I don't think very well at the best of times, let alone on them. But yeah, things are going well. And we managed to smash the Venetians. Last turn, we're going to auto-resolve and attack. Barbary State's coming back in to do some more blockading. Because they are cheeky little scamps. But they're not going to blockade my last territory though. Which is nice of them. A trade port in your home region has oh, been damn blockaded it. They, by they stealth researched carbines because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, keep going down military syllabus. Port blockaded, port blockaded. We have a college, and you are still okay with that, which is nice. And Venice is ours. So we can't rebuild 
their presidential palace, but we can rebuild the observatory. And that's it. <laughs> that's all we can rebuild. So much so, I might actually just re prioritize rebuilding the state house, replenishing this army. Hopefully, hop them over to Corsica, knock them out, hop them over to Calig um, Cagliari, uh, kill them. And see if I can make peace with Britain once more. Because we're doing actually good things. They're on my side and they're helping me out. Uh, mm. But still, things are going okay. I would like my re I would like to start researching things that aren't military, but I don't really have a choice. Can I start trading with Bavaria? No, but we're friendly because we're both colonial powers. Not colonial powers. We are Catholics. So I'm not going to fight them. Same religion, same government type, national leaders command respect and historical friendships. That's fine. You do you, Bavaria. I don't care. It might be worthwhile actually sending my... Yes, go on Britain. Clear out the Barbary states. See? They're doing my work for me. No, um, so I will do... So we'll, I will put up a video explaining my PC building plans. Because I've not upgraded this PC for about five years. Like back in the day I bought my... My processor is actually pretty good even today. Um, so much so I don't think it's even... My processor isn't my bottleneck. It's an i7 4790K and I've overclocked it to 4 gig. So it's still really good. But there are newer features on motherboards and, you know, I want to take advantage of. So a Ryzen 7 3700, for me, might not necessarily be a direct upgrade, or at least an improvement, on what I'm seeing now, because I don't, I can't exploit the 8, eight cores. Um, well, I, part of it's just me wanting to buy a new PC, because I've saved up for it, and there's a kick-ass graphics card coming out, and I want it, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure you guys know what it's. You guys know where I'm coming from. The Barbary States, as quickly as their ships are destroyed, they just build new ones. One of your sea trade routes is under attack from an enemy fleet. Don't Without care. your intervention, they'll raid all shipping and take. Yeah, that's the Brits. Can't do anything about that. Trade route raided, port blockaded, port blockaded. Building constructed. Naples. Two grand next turn. Well, allegedly two thousand next turn. Spain's blockading me down here. To be honest, all my ports have been blockaded, so I can't actually. Aha! Ah, you guys thought wrong. I've got four ports. This army might be a good candidate, actually, after taking these islands to go hit the Barbary states because they are super frustrating my efforts in this campaign. But I want to get down to fire by rank. That's what I want. Let's hit and turn once more, because I've got no cash to really do anything. Go, go, Gadget Britain. See, as much as they don't like me, they hate the Barbary States even more. And the Barbary States took a bunch of their ships. At least they sank a load. I think if I took Genoa, I'd probably turn that into a shipyard. Because I don't have Taranto yet. And it faces into the central Mediterranean, which is where most of my problems are. Spain's strengthening their blockade. Oh, and they're leaving. Sweet. Ah. Oh. I don't know how. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you guys. Well, because I'm not build. Because I'm not buying a whole brand new PC. Like, there's not much point doing like an. Oh, it's an unboxing. Here's what I've got. And to be honest, I'm not that much of a tech guy. Because I had this problem. I was discussing it with my friends. What parts to upgrade? I am really bad at knowing. You know, it feels like the more you learn about IT, you like like processor performance and such. There's so much about it that maybe once you get into the minutiae, 
it feels like they're a big deal. Some things are super important. Things I know, processor speed, number of processors. That's all that really matters to me. And the the generation, if you like. Efficient um, software driving them. But we start some of the some of the stuff that my friends talk about, I just don't I just don't get. And that's not a slight against them. Like it's 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 impressive. I just can't. I, you know, I just cannot stick stick it. <laughs> okay, so this army has an opportunity now. You can leave, Milan. Can't you? Yes. Quick. Establish a breakout. Well, breakout is a really grand use term for it. Ooh, that's a big old. Maybe they might hit Cagliari first, because the garrison is smaller. So much so, I'm actually going to auto that. Let's get this port back to safety. Because this might need a bit more of a... might need a bit more of an army behind it. And they ha they're happy, because we're all Catholics here. Spend a bit more money doing a bit more replenishment, but it's going to take a few turns to recover from that. Um, and let's actually try and make peace with Spain. Peace and trade. Nope, but let's try and trade with Sweden. No. Trade, and I'll give you carbines. You offer me a grand for carbines? Fine, I'll have it. What a ground for carbines means I can fix this government building. Sweet, but looking at my new timer, because I've obviously I've had to cut the recording, I think it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.